Hello, my beautiful souls. Okay, so before we get started with your reading, I just want to share with you a fascinating website I was recently introduced to that helps you discover how compatible you are in relationships, how others perceive you, and also explains how to fully understand your natal chart through astrology and numerology. There is a ton of information waiting for you on this site to help you better understand love, your path, and to help you improve your life. I got my charts done and it is amazingly accurate and extremely informative. The website is called trulydivine.com and they are offering a 30% off discount for all of my subscribers. All you have to do is use code ZEN30 at checkout to receive your discount. I will provide the link and code in the description box below. So peace and love and happy learning. Now let's get started with your reading. Hello and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Cancer Sun Moon Rising. But before I get into it, I just want to make an announcement. Oh, I'm so excited. We're almost at 10,000 subscribers. Okay, so I'm doing a giveaway. Three free readings. Winner's choice. Okay, so in order to participate, you have to subscribe to my channel. But you can do that right now if you haven't already. Just click, 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 subscribe. And then go to my community tab. There's going to be a post about the giveaway. Comment on that post and I will be announcing the winners on that post. Either by May 1st or as soon as we hit 10,000 subscribers, you know, whichever happens first. Um, and you have 30 days to redeem your free reading. So you can go to zenwithinme.com to see the readings that are there. So if you win, you can choose from one of those. Okay, so without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. <sighs> Guides, guardians, ancestors, and angels, please give me clear and concise messages for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising regarding their love life at this time. Okay, what does Cancer need to know regarding their love life at this time? What love messages do you have for Cancer? What do they need to focus on and be aware of in their love life? Thank you. Okay, please continue to protect us, watch over us, and guide us always. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Queen of Cups. That could be your energy. Water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or someone that is very loving and emotional. Could be a wife, mother, or sweetheart. Okay, let's see. What other messages do we have for Cancer? What about the Queen of Cups? Last Shuffle. Any other messages for Cancer? Thank you. I don't read reversals. Okay, so we have here Ten of Swords. Okay. Ace of Swords. And the Ace of Wands. Okay. Okay, so Cancer. You've gone through some kind of uh Devastation or pain, mental anguish, some kind of loss. Now, if you're dealing with another water sign, like I said, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or this could be your energy, you are in this mindset, you are in this energy. Um, with it being a loss, it could be like loss of a wife, mother, or sweetheart. Um, yeah, some kind of pain here that you're feeling some kind of loss, like I said, but with the ace of swords and the ace of wands here, like your result, if you are, I'm trying to just say this the best way. So give, give me a moment. If you may have broken up with someone, it's like I'm not seeing a breakup card here, but there's like some kind of loss. So however the loss is regarding your life or this mental anguish, you're in your head about something, you're just devastated about something, whether it's a breakup or someone's passing, um, you, you, will, you will overcome it. Okay, so... With the Ace of Swords here, I'm seeing victory over, over one's actions or overcoming setbacks. This is triumph. This could also be like a great force in love, okay? 
And then here with the Ace of Wands, this is a passionate new beginning. Okay. This can also be yes to a birth. So if you, if you broke up with someone or you're just feeling really down and out, for my singles, if you're just feeling really down and out because you're alone and you don't have anybody, that's going to change here with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands. You're definitely going to get that great love that's going to take you by storm and that's going to be a passionate new beginning and you may even get pregnant if that's what you're looking for in the future. Okay, and for those of you that have maybe lost someone, you in time will overcome that and you you will have that growth back in your heart where you will one day be back to that place of growth and um and just being yourself is the best way that i can put it okay all right so let's see what is going on here let's see what else is going on here for cancer what messages do we have for Cancer regarding their love life at this time? Please clarify this reading for Cancer. What is going on with Cancer? Engagement ring, okay? So if you're upset because, like I said, maybe somebody hurt your feelings, they they don't they said they don't want to marry you or something like that. Well, I have here engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. So you'll find somebody that wants to marry you, unless this person you were engaged to and they passed away. Eventually, you will meet somebody else and you'll get that passion back in your life, that that huge love back into your life. And I'm sure that's not what you really want to hear right now, but you know you're looking at the reading to get something. So not enough frustrated in a relationship lack of confidence self-sabotage fear ego issues and jealousy so i'm seeing here like one person's loss is another one's gain so if you have somebody that made you feel this way that you weren't enough and you felt like you're at a loss like you're not enough and um there was just these this these issues you have somebody else that's going to come in here with the ace of swords and the ace of wands and they're they're going to be the one that's going to propose to you okay so like i said one door closes and another one opens so you're sad and you're hurt and you're in pain now but that had to happen to get you to where you're going to be okay so let's see i'm actually let's pull some let me pull some of these astrology cards. All right, so let's see. Can you give us some more messages for Cancer? Tell us about this person that's going to be coming in for Cancer. There's some qualities and traits about Cancer's new person coming in. It's the only one? Yeah, okay. First house. What people see? And the impression you give. Okay, so first impressions are going to be a lot here. So what, what, so they may think of you like, oh, I thought you were a bitch and you, you're so nice, you know, or oh, I thought you were like an, you know, egomaniac or something and you turned out to be so cool, you know. So like what they see is not who you are so make sure with your first impression how you portray yourself okay last shuffle any other messages for cancer all right okay Chiron, your healing power empathy and ability to teach or learn remedies okay And the fifth house, where you have fun, romance, and create things you are proud of. Create things. This is also creativity and growth here. So if you're some kind of artist, you are you may meet this person where you create things. So it's like it could be in a studio, whether it's a music studio or like a painting studio. You know, um, 
it, it may be um, if you're a designer where, you know, if you go to design school or something like that, anything that's creative, whatever it is that you do, it could also be like if you see here, this person is sketching like somebody at the beach. So, you know, when you can get out of the house, you may be at the beach or someplace because this is a beach. So you may be at the beach just, you know, drawing, doing your sketching, maybe doing photography, whatever it is that you're doing to get some inspiration. And that could be where this person is going to pop up and you'll meet them. Okay. And so the first impression that they have of you might be like, oh, I didn't want to approach you. You look so, so deep in thought in your creativity. I, I didn't want to, you know, put a damper on that. And you turn around and become so inviting, like, oh, no, it's fine. You know, we can chat and this and that. And then they just see how amazing and awesome you are. So it's like that could be the first impression part there. Okay, from the first house. And I feel here with your healing power, empathy, and ability to teach or learn remedies, you, you may teach them something. Like they may ask questions about what it is that you're doing. And with empathy, like you're really going to feel a connection with this person and understand a lot about them instantly. Okay, which makes sense. That's why this is going to lead to an engagement because you guys are going to have that connection. Okay. All right, so this is turning out beautifully. All right, so let's see. What are the messages do we have for cancer? So see, my cancers, there's a, there's a rainbow. There's a silver lining. So I know you're upset and hurt now, but there's better for you coming in. Or another shot, you know, at happiness. If you, you know, had someone that maybe passed, my condolences. Okay, last shuffle. So this is interesting because just these two cards came out, but one is actually a message for you, Cancer. A personal issue reaches resolution. Full moon in Cancer. Okay. So believe in the impossible. So if you're, like I said, I see, I just feel that you're in a, such a devastated place right now and you're very emotional about it. I'm actually seeing somebody like face in the pillow, tears, blankets over the head, like just in a very, very uh, closed off place. But once you start to heal, you will get out there again and you will meet the right person or, or the person that, you know, you can spend some time with that you can get engaged to. However, it, it resonates in your life. Okay, so let's see. what messages do we have for cancer from their person? Okay, what messages do we have for cancer from their person? Okay, inner child. Okay, so you make them feel a little giddy like a school kid. Ancestors, you may know this person through family. They're also like with ancestors, they're going to feel like they, they've known you before. Like that, oh, that connection, like I had said to you, you're going to feel a connection with them and they're going to feel like this is not our first time meeting. And self-love. Okay, so this person has a lot of love for themselves. They're comfortable with who they are and where they are. And it's going to be so much easier for them to, you know, give you that passionate new beginning and sweep you off your feet. Okay. All right. Let's see if we can get some initials for you guys. Okay. What initials do we have for cancer? Some initials do we have for cancer? Initials do we have for cancer? Okay. Thank you. Okay, we got an N. A P. I'm getting like a Nicole or a Napolitano. Q. Maybe somebody from Queens. Or Quebec, S. 
and L. L N P Q S. Same thing with plans. Maybe somebody is an architect or they do something with some kind of plans. Planning an engagement, perhaps. Okay, so again, this could be the initials of a person, place, or thing. It's however it connects you with your person. You may, um, I'm also getting pencil. So someone may be sketching something with a pencil. Or have like a, I'm seeing like a pencil behind someone's ear. Okay. Okay, so that is all I have for you, Cancer. So hang in there. These are some beautiful messages for you. You do have love coming in the future. Okay, peace and love. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.